Are you hungry? And if so, you're in luck because today we're making mu satay or pork satay. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. I have something, it's one of my favorite kind of Thai street food dishes, and I had it the proper thing I had uh, over Christmas this year when I was in Bangkok. And it's so good, so I thought I'll, 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 I'll show you how to make it, so that you can experience it as well. But before we have a look at the board, as always, do me the huge favor, if you're not subscribing to the channel yet, please do so, hit the subscribe button, and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode goes live. But now let's have a look at the board. As you can see, there's not really any ingredients here, there's already done things. So there's a Thai cucumber, pickle, we have our Thai style satay sauce, and we have our mu, our pork, and it's already marinated. So I'll show you first how we did the pork. The first thing we need to make is the marinade for our pork. We need 100 grams of coconut milk, 50 grams of water, and about half a tablespoon of vinegar. And here we have two tablespoons of brown sugar, we have half a teaspoon of white pepper, we have some cinnamon, we have a good pinch of salt, and here I've already toasted one and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. We also have a tablespoon of lemongrass, about a teaspoon of turmeric, and about a teaspoon of galangal, and we have three loaves. Now, I'm gonna put them all in together into this mortar. And you just need to crush it. So I'll see when this is done. There we go. And we'll just transfer this to another bowl. Add our coconut milk our water and our vinegar and we'll just mix this all up and next up the beef, uh, the beef, the pork, the moo that's why I get confused sometimes obviously moo in most of Europe is the sound a cow makes not what a pig makes but obviously pork is called moo in Thailand and not beef. Now we have a wonderful piece of pork neck. We're gonna cut it in about a good centimeter slices. And we're gonna half these slices. I prefer to make it with neck. I think classically it's made with loin and you put fat in between the loin. But like this you have the fat already with you. Now we just cut it into half centimeter slices, like this. Let's make the next one actually bigger. I'll just show you that one. And we'll mix it up because then it will go faster to put it on. We'll make two centimeter slices. Again, down the middle. And again, about half a centimeter. a bit more manageable to thread it on the spits afterwards. So I'll finish that, put it into a bowl, and I'll see you afterwards. Now we'll cut our pork and we have our marinade, so we'll just pour it over. And then we go in with our hand and just mix it. Now, in an ideal world, this will stay overnight in the fridge, but I would say a minimum two hours. So we'll marinate this now. And this one has been marinating now for two and a half hours. It's, it's good enough. And then let's have a look at how we did the cucumber pickle. For our Thai cucumber relish, I think it's called ayad. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. We need one part, well, one part sugar to two parts vinegar. So I have 100 grams of vinegar to 50 grams of sugar. We need some chilies, we need some shallots, and we need a bit of cucumber. 
I peeled it and took out the seeds. The first thing we can do is to grab a pot, add the sugar and the vinegar and just dissolve it. And for the rest we just grab a container. Now here again the proportions they are completely up to you. These are the proportions I like to use. You can use less chili, more chili. You can slice it thinner, but I prefer it with a little bit of structure. And the same with the shallots. So while the sugar is dissolving in the vinegar, cut up all the, your vegetables and uh, I'll show you what we'll do afterwards. We're done with our cutting and our sugar is dissolved. And I just warmed it up a little bit, so this is not hot now. Um, it's not even warm. And then we just leave that. And that's our Thai cucumber pickle. As you see, very easy, but very nice. And last but not least, our Thai style satay sauce, peanut sauce. Now here we have everything we need for our Thai peanut sauce or satay sauce. Uh, now there's a lot of kind of variations in Southeast Asia, uh, but I'm going to try to make a Thai version of it. So we have 200 milliliters of coconut milk. We have 100 grams of toasted and ground peanuts. Uh, they're ground by hand, so there's kind of different um, grinds, sizes of, on them. We need a bit of fish sauce. We need some salt. A good tablespoon of red curry. Sometimes they also use masama curry or a mix of both. Three good tablespoons of palm sugar and some tamarind sauce. You can get that in most Asia stores. And that's what we need. Everything else happens at the stove. So we'll move over there. First we'll add a dash of oil. I do this on medium heat. Let's see if our oil is hot. Yeah, it's hot enough. Now this won't take much longer than about half a minute to a minute maximum. Just want to release the flavors from the curry paste. And you can see when it starts to release oil. That's when we want to start adding our sugar, uh, not our sugar, but our coconut milk. Make sure that you scrape the bottom of the pan to release everything. Now we can add the rest. And mix this in now. And we want this to come to a boil, and we're going to boil it for about two minutes. So it's time to add our peanuts, our sugar, and our tamarind. And then bring it to a boil again for another two minutes or so. We're also going to add a little bit of salt and a dash of fish sauce. And you know that you're doing it right when you see the oil kind of separate on the top like this. And again, this again, it's up to personal taste, so you can tweak the recipe to whatever you feel tastes better. You can add a bit more tamarind, a bit more sugar, a bit more salt. At least like this you have a good base recipe to start from. Now let's give it a try, see what we think. Mm. It's a bit acidity so I will add a little bit of vinegar to it. Mm. That's perfect. That's our satay sauce, our Thai style satay sauce. Now this you can make a lot of because it keeps four or five weeks in the fridge. The next thing we have to do, obviously you need to turn on a grill because we're going to make it on a charcoal grill. But the next thing we have to do is to put our pork on our bamboo sticks. 
Now, I've had these skewers in water for about the same time that we've been marinating the pork. And here, when you put it on, basically anything goes. Just try to get two, um, what do you call it, two holes into every piece and just thread it onto your skewer. And like I mentioned when we did the, the, uh, the meat, I really enjoy this cut, so the neck, instead of using loin and fat, because you already have a good mix of um, meat and fat on this. It's very juicy. And get them to look something like this. Now, skewer all your meat, and then it's time to grill them. Ready to give this a go. I think four is a good portion size. Now we just have to have patience. I think we can do the first turn around. Need a bit of help on this one. There we go. And I had some leftover coconut milk, so we're just gonna put that on top. Let's do another turn so we can put some coconut milk on the other side. Last turn, this side has the color I want. Just let it finish on the other side now. Another minute or so, and then we can serve this up. So we're good to go. I'm gonna take the grill outside, and then let's plate this up. So we'll put our skewers here. And then we'll fill our small bowls here with our cucumber pickle. Some liquid as well. And our satay. Well, doesn't that look nice? But before we dig into this, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you one second, but it's so valuable to me. So please do me that favor. But now, let's give this a try. Now you can go either way with this. Either you can take it and kind of stick it into your sauce, but you have the risk of getting pierced by that, so. That's really good. The other way that I kind of prefer it's just to scrape off the meat, take it, grab some. This is so good. Mm. Homemade um, satay peanut sauce beats bought one every time. And I really think making it with neck of pork, you get just the right fat percentage. It's nice and juicy. But without, without being too Too fatty. Mm. Use my fingers a little bit. I 
and so much flavor, especially from the marinade with all those spices in there, all the aromatics. Mm. Fantastic. And the, the, the cucumber pickle kind of offers a, a sharp uh, freshness to it. But that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions about this recipe, leave a comment below. I always answer them. And if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe and check the like button. But that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.